What is it about TransClick that makes it so special? TransClick bridges combining the best of breed artificial intelligence, real time language translation engines, and SMS servers, email servers, and instant messaging servers. For example, I type or speak English, you hear or read Chinese in 16 languages. You speak or type Chinese, I hear or read English on a mobile phone, on a Blackberry, or on a Nokia, or on a Motorola, or HTC, or Samsung. Combined with mobile e-commerce like eBay, or global social networking like Facebook or MySpace Mobile, or collaboration portals like Google Desktop, or the Microsoft Mobile Desktop, one can now communicate across the language barrier in real time with high levels of accuracy because our dictionaries currently have 10 million words and eventually a billion words, including terminology, microglossaries, and even slang. So this means we can finally break the language barrier in the planet Earth to facilitate global collaboration. The key to our success is combining all of these technologies, and of course it's protected by TransClick's patent. What we're doing now is globalizing web services on a wireless platform to globalize multilingual help desks, emergency communications, social networking, research, as well as humanitarian intervention, distance learning, and any other activity that needs to be done across a global language barrier. And of course, this yields a tremendous social benefit. What country best facilitates starting a tech company? Well, of course, obviously the United States offers the deepest capital market for seed capital and venture capital, as well as a, a large market for early technology adapters, as well as uh, new uh, opportunities for reaching people all over the world. However, other countries, including uh, Israel, Singapore, Ireland, the United Kingdom, India and China, are catching up to the United States in terms of training people, uh, high-tech careers, uh, venture capital, and as well as the infrastructure in order to support entrepreneurship. The globalization of entrepreneurship requires an innovative company that is seeking to expand worldwide, but also employ people who understand local markets. So TransClick is already executing on its plan for global expansion. What makes an innovator? Well, an innovator, I think, is a combination of several qualities. Uh, number one, vision two, persistent effort and determination, and three, uh, execution. So in the first case, an innovator needs to not only have a broad scope, but have a great imagination to see new opportunities and take a detour from the familiar safe ground to pioneering new frontiers and often combining technologies that have not been combined before. For example, in this case, artificial intelligence and global messaging on a mobile platform. The second is persistent leadership, the, including tenacity, uh, willpower, uh, and the ability to take risks and be determined in face of all of the challenges that uh, face entrepreneurs. Third, I think, is the ability to gather the financial and human resources to execute on that vision. Today, no great innovation can happen without finding talented, motivated uh, people and giving them the incentives, freedom, and resources to work as strong teams, transforming new inventions uh, or creative ideas into marketable, profitable commercial realities. How does your company directly contribute to improving the state of the world? TransClick expects not only to build a very profitable company, but also to have a very positive social impact by overcoming language barriers and reducing linguistic isolation and enabling everyone, regardless of income level or geographic location, to engage in a dialogue across the language border globally on a mobile handset, creating a more open global network society. And there are several applications. Uh, for example, in, a, in the event of a pandemic influenza, bird flu, TransClick could enable instant global collaboration using healthcare dictionaries, medical dictionaries, specialized immunology and virology dictionaries to enable research scientists and hospitals to collaborate across the language border globally during a pandemic. In the case of a local education issue, we have 
39 million Americans who speak a language other than English every day. And yet there's a civil rights law, uh, Title VI of the 64 Act, uh, Civil Rights Act of 64, which requires uh, the government to offer language services to uh, help overcome limited English uh, proficiency. So in the New York City schools, there are 22,000 teachers who use human translators once a month to communicate with over 600,000 parents who speak Spanish and other languages uh, in their daily life. And of course, this creates a bottleneck of communication between the teachers and students and their parents. So it's important for teachers to be able to send an email and have it arrive, say, as voicemail in Spanish, and the parents to be able to respond in Spanish and have it arrive in email in English on the teacher's desktop or mobile desktop. Of course, that would result in higher test scores, greater collaboration between teachers and, their, and the parents of students who need parental encouragement and incentives to do their homework. There's over 200 million cell phones now in Latin America and almost 200 million cell phones in uh, Africa. Total of 1.6 billion cell phones. And that'll grow to over 3.6 billion cell phones in the next three years, of which 85% will be in the emerging markets where there's very little English spoken. For example, in Brazil, only 3% of the people speak English. Of course, if there's real-time translation available on Motorola, Nokia, Blackberry, HTC, Samsung, LG, and other handsets, and offered by up to 700 and 800 carriers around the world, all of whom roam now over other carriers' networks, all of these mobile collaboration platforms could now become globalized, multilingual collaboration platforms. If you ask a minister of commerce in Mexico or Malaysia, if all of their cell phones had multilingual technology from TransClick on it, would this add or subtract to the GDP of their country? Of course, they would say it would increase the GDP and yield tremendous social benefits. Obviously, when the language barrier goes down, GDP and social benefits go up. There's more export promotion, more knowledge imports, more global collaboration, more integration of the global uh, economy with the local information infrastructure which is primarily mobile infrastructure in the developing nations. So by leveraging the power of artificial intelligence and the, the low cost of mobile uh, communications infrastructure, by combining that to create multilingual global collaboration tools, everyone can collaborate globally and engage in the world economy regardless of income level or the language barrier. So our goal now is not only to create multilingual social networks, multilingual e-commerce, but also the ability to speak or type into a cell phone and be understood in another language with your slang, your terminology, your idiomatic expressions, and your industry glossaries. The goal, ultimately, is to help people collaborate to fight the common enemies of mankind, including poverty, the root causes of terrorism, nuclear proliferation, environmental threats, disease as a resort, uh, result of the shortages of clean water, food, and medicine, and even preventing civil wars. A lot of this uh, requires global collaboration. That's smart power. Global collaboration can't happen on a scalable basis without mobile phones and real-time translation integrated with collaboration services. I can now carry 10 million words and over 100,000 grammar rules uh, in, our, uh, in my mobile phone combined with all kinds of messaging applications, including TransClick 16 language pairs, connected to voice recognition, speech generation, instant messaging, SMS, and mobile email, either uh, Google Talk or Yahoo Instant Messenger or Microsoft uh, Exchange email or IBM Lotus Notes or same time or all kinds of different messaging applications can be combined with our technology by licensing the APIs and bundling these solutions. Artificial intelligence cannot replace the human element, but it can break down the natural language barriers that lead to polarization, isolation, despair, violence, and miscommunication. Changing hearts and educating minds using the catalyst of innovation and global collaboration is a more powerful preventative measure leveraging the need for global interdependence and the technology that would make that happen. Treating the symptoms of alienation is not as useful as treating the root
causes of alienation. I think global collaboration can serve all kinds of people all over the world and yield tremendous social benefits. Thank you.